In this lecture, we will discuss oligosaccharide introduction, its classification in structure. This lecture belongs to my YouTube channel, Biochem Lectures. My name is Dr. Alam Zev. I am a professor at the Department of Biochemistry, University of Malacca. I did PhD from the Institute of Biochemistry, Graz University of Technology, Austria. The contents of this presentation includes introduction, introduction to oligosaccharide, structure of oligosaccharides, glycosides, glycosidic bonds, classification of oligosaccharide and some examples of oligosaccharides. Oligosaccharides, oligosaccharide is the next class of uh, carbohydrate. Oligos means few. It refers to the pres presence of few sugar units. Oligosaccharide consists of 2 to 10, 8 or 10 monosaccharide units. Oligosaccharide can have many functions including cell recognition and cell binding to each other. Now the structure of monosaccharides. Oligosaccharide is formed by the last half water molecule from the sugar mighty. You can see here a glucose unit in a fructose unit for uh, another glucose unit. Uh, and it forms a uh, glycoside bond by the last of water molecule. So the glycoside, the bond which is formed is known as a glycoside bond. It may be either um, O-glycosidic bond, uh, C-glycosidic bond, N-glycosidic bond, and in some cases S-glycosidic bonds. They are forming either bonds with sugars, lipids, protein, and nucleic acids. But in oligosaccharides, only O-glycosidic bond is common, especially in the simple monocarbohydrates. A glycosidic bond is in oligosaccharide, maybe either uh, one to four length, that is in which a numeric carbon is bonded to oxygen and C4 of the second sugar or one to six. The enumeric carbon in this case is bonded to the oxygen of C on C6 of the second sugar, while 1 to 1 link, in this case the enumeric carbon of the two sugar are bonded to the oxygen, while in 1 to case the enumeric carbon is bonded to oxygen of C2 of the second sugars. You can see here this is the case of the sucrose. The, um, the enumeric carbon is attached to enumeric carbon and the second group of the um, Fructose sugar, we can say that enumeric carbon 1 of the glucose is attached to carbon 2 of the fructose forming a glycosidic 1 to 2 glycosidic bond. Now, uh, the glycosidic bond may be classed or uh, into alpha glycosidic bond and uh, beta glycosidic bond. In this case, you can see here the alpha gly glycosidic bond is the bond. Uh, in which the, the first group uh, has a hydroxyl group that is, uh, below the uh, plane, that is alpha uh, group. Uh, so uh, the first carbon is at the, at the alpha uh, uh, hydroxyl group, that is called alpha, alpha and or alpha glycosidic bond, while the other one is beta glycosidic bond. Now classification of oligosaccharide. Classification is based on the number of sugar units. For example, a disaccharide. A disaccharide is the more um, consists of uh, two or two monosaccharide units, which are joined by O glycosidic bond. Uh, the example includes sucrose, maltose, etc. Similarly, other classes uh, is a trisaccharide which contains um, three sugar units, while tetrasaccharide contains four, and uh, pentasaccharide 
contain five sugar units and so on up to 10 units however it should be remembered that in nature dietic rice are more common as compared to other sugars the first example is sucrose it is widely occurring disaccharide found in many plants especially cane sugar and beet sugar it, it is made up of glucose and fructose moiety which are linked to each other by C1 of the glucose and C2 of the fructose the name is alpha D glucopyranosyl beta D fructofuranosyl remember the this sucrose is not a reducing sugar because um, the, uh, reducing sugar is a sugar which uh, has a free enumeric carbon, uh, carbon but in this case we don't have the free enumeric carbon it is sweet in taste colorless in crystalline solid you can see here alpha glucopyranose is attached to, um, to the second carbon beta d fructofuranose um, so the bonding between this is alpha 1 to 2 Mm, beta glycosidic bond. You can see here in this picture there are multiple forms, the crystal forms, the different powder powder form of the uh, sucrose. So in the market you can see these examples. Now the next uh, example of lactose is lactose. It is made up D glucose and D galactose. These two monosaccharide units are attached to each other by beta 1 to 4 glycosidic palm. It is also called milk sugar. Uh, an enzyme ne ne known as lactase. Um, it is responsible for the hydrolyzing um, lactose sugar. Uh, while human lack the enzyme lactase and thus we face a condition known as lacto lactose intolerance. Uh, you can see here the um, uh, chemical structure of lactose in which a beta D galactose is attached to 1, 4 glycosidic bond by to the beta D glucopyranose. Uh, it is important to know that the 13 gram of lactose is present in 1 cup of the milk. The next example is maltose. Two glucose units are linked by alpha 1 to 4 linkage it is also known as maltose sugar it is produced by the enzyme hydrolysis of starch or you can um, obtain by acidic hydrolysis too it is present in germinating cereals in mars it is reducing sugar maltose is an important component of the malt uh, you can see in this uh, chemical structure alpha D glucopyranose is attached to one pore linkage by another uh, glucose unit and you can see here the picture of the malt. The next important example is Cerebios. Uh, it is another uh, disaccharide which is made of two glucose unit which are linked by beta 1 to 4 glycosidic bond it is a disaccharide which is formed by the hydrolysis of cellulose um, we will discuss later on that uh, cellulose is a polysaccharide uh, uh, it is a muta rotating and uh, reducing sugar it is present uh, in cellulose rich materials food and food such as cotton jute and peppers cellulose can also be used as indicator carbohydrates for um, different disease uh, especially the malabsorption syndrome uh, cellulose is important uh, it is normally produced by the digestion uh, during the digestion it is produced by the uh, different uh, the acid the stomach acid uh, into from the cellulose Next example is gentibiose. It is made of two glucose units which are linked to each other by beta 1 to 6 linkage. It is a rare uh, disaccharide but is commonly seen as a, uh, at the branch point in many carbohydrates, especially the um, uh, 
polysaccharides it is produced by the caramelization of glucose now uh, you can see one uh, the beta D glucose is attached to another uh, glucose by one to six linkage and this linkage this bond is uh, beta glycosidic bond uh, remember caramelization is the browning of sugar and food you can see here in this food uh, the browning of the food especially the sugar containing food is known as caramelization now the properties of oligosaccharides uh, some oligosaccharides are sweet in taste most of the oligosaccharides are colorless and solid in nature uh, they have other properties like hygroscopicity water solubility and also they are have high stability most of the uh, oligosaccharides are digested they are non-carcinogenic in nature so they are safe uh, to eat they participate in digestion and metabolism of um, other metabolites